Welcome back. Let's talk about the core OS layer, part of the iOS architecture. The core OS layer is on top of the hardware and it also includes the kernel and the device drivers. The kernel is a Unix based kernel and the kernel usually hand handles system resources like memory and CPU and also handles the communication between the hardware and the software. Another part of the core OS are device drivers. The device drivers are interfaces with hardware components like Bluetooth, camera, etc. and also part of the core OS OS is security frameworks, which handles encryption certificates and secure storage. And also file system operations, network operations, those are all handled by the core OS. But let's go a little bit more into detail. So specific for iOS, there is an operating system called Darwin. And this operating system is shared between all Apple devices. So if you have a MacBook with macOS or a TV with tvOS, they are all using Darwin. And Darwin is unix based and it is a combination of different other unix based operating systems like xnu which stands for x is not unix and it also uses capabilities of bsd the unix utilities and networking capabilities from the bsd operating system and also it uses some part of the so-called Mac kernel, which handles inter-process communication and memory management, and also the drivers. Let's look into a practical example. So if you're doing an iOS lab within Mobile Hacking Lab, or if you have a lab subscription, you should be able to open the console on an iOS device. You should be able to open the console on an iOS device. So in this case, I have an iPhone 7 with iOS 15.8 installed, the latest iOS. It is modeled as 80, but it does not really matter because in this case, I just want to do the Linux command or the same command you can do on other Linux distributions, which is uname minus v, which will give you the version of your current operating system. And in this case, it gives you the output Darwin kernel version 21.6.0 and also this X not Unix with the specific version. But those are already two components part of the core operating system and you can also go to developer.apple.com if you want more details about the kernel so in this course we will not go that deep but it is interesting and important to know some details like this darwin kernel is used and you can see similar pictures of this kernel environment containing of bsd components and mac components and what is for example interesting is this Mac manage processor resources such as CPU and memory. Later, we are going to look into reverse engineering and also the file type within iOS is also called Mac or Mac O is an object file format within iOS. So all those kernel related things might be useful later in this training because if we look into the file system and the file formats, then it is also related to this kernel. And another example is this I.O. kit provides a framework for simplified driver management. It is a little bit out of scope for this application security course, but it might be interesting to go a little bit more into details. So for example, this website called Hacktrisk also contains a lot of useful resources. And this I.O. kit is used also for kernel extensions within iOS. And those can be found in a specific directory, system library extensions. So again, if we have an iOS device, and if you want to do some practical things related to this kernel, then you can, for example, check this directory, system library extensions. And then you can see those are the kernel extensions, which are on the file system loaded on this iOS device. But those are just some details about the kernel. During this training, we will not dive deeper into the kernel or kernel exploitation. So let's move on to the next layer, which is the core services layer. I hope to see you in the next video.